Hi everyone, producer Steve here. Are you wondering what our next season will be about? Good news. You won't have to wait long. Season 11 debuts on November 27th. That's the week of Thanksgiving here in the U.S. This all-new season is called It's Possible and tells the story of a man who was lost and is saved. We'll also meet some new characters along the way, such as Wyatt's dad, Guy Watts, and the Cook family. It all starts on November 27th. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for sneak peeks behind the scenes while you wait. In the meantime, enjoy this week's mini-adventure. Hi, I'm Miss Jean. Let's take another mini adventure together, this time at the Discovery Mountain Academy. Mrs. Lee is cleaning up her classroom and she notices that something's missing. And there's a stranger in the school. Could she have taken it? Let's find out in today's mini adventure called Honestly Olivia. <sighs> Bye, Cheddar and Cheezer. I'm heading home. Stay in your cage, okay? <laughs> no escaping. Now I just need my sweater and I'll be home in time for dinner for once. There it is. Oh, no, it's just Eric's red raincoat. Same color, wrong outerwear. Where did I put it? I was sure. Hello? Uh, may I ask you a question? Oh, hello. Are you a parent? A parent? Oh, no. I'm here looking for my brother. Oh, come in. I was just leaving, but I'm looking for something. Hi, I'm... <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry, did I startle you? Oh, no, I just... Uh, a lovely sweater you're wearing. Oh, thank you. It's very nice shade of red. May I get a closer look? Oh, uh, I guess so, sure. Look, I'm sorry to bother you. Just, this is my first time in the school. Reader let me in. Uh, I don't really know my way around. How long have you been wandering around in here unsupervised, ma'am? What? That's a strange question. Uh, about ten minutes, I think? I see, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Amanda Lee, first and second grade teacher. And you are Reader's sister? Pleased to meet you, Amanda. Reader's sister? Oh, no. You just let me in the academy. I'm Olivia. Olivia... Jake's sister. Oh, Jake's sister. We heard all about your wedding and how he forgot the flowers and... Yeah, well, Jake found me flowers and saved the day. <laughs> so I heard. He should be in the Bible classroom. Did you look for him there? I did, and I couldn't find him. Did you try the cafeteria? I thought of that, and he wasn't there either. How about Mrs. Torres' classroom? I think they're working on a project together right now. Is Mrs. Torres the science teacher? Yes. Oh, well, I went by her classroom, and I didn't see him there either. Well, come on in and take a seat. Have you texted him? I'll text him again. He didn't answer me earlier. You have a very nice classroom. I love all the kid art. Thank you. Yes, my students are wonderfully creative. So, your sweater. I really like it. This? Oh, well, thank you. I have one just like it. Do you really? Yes, but I can't find it at the moment. Have you had your sweater for very long? Have I had it for very long? Uh, I guess you could say that. My sweater has a fabric lining under the buttons. It's a navy blue with white checkered fabric. Really? Look, my sweater has that too. Interesting. Mine has a little flower stitched right here. See, it's the logo. <gasps> my sweater has the same little flower stitched right there too. No, oh, what a coincidence. A coincidence? Olivia, I really don't like to accuse people without proof, but... Oh, sorry to interrupt. That's Jake. He finally texted me back. He says he's in his classroom now. Oh, all right. I'll walk you there. Okay, thanks, Amanda. Everyone here in Discovery Mountain is so nice. So far, anyway. So far? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Me? Oh, only that I just arrived to visit Jake this afternoon. I haven't seen the whole town or met very many people yet. Oh, okay. Here's Jake's classroom. He teaches Bible. Olivia, are you familiar with the Ten Commandments? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. I just wasn't sure. I'm sorry? Olivia, you found me! Finally! Were you playing hide-and-seek like when we were kids? No, but that would be fun. Honestly, Olivia, you've got the best ideas. Oh, Jake. <clears throat> I'm sorry to break up the reunion, but Jake, could I have a word with you outside in the hallway for just a minute? Oh, uh, sure thing. Nice meeting you, Amanda. Thanks for the help. 
Okay, you're welcome. Mrs. Lee, is this official school business? Because, you know, my sister just got Jake, here and... how well do you know your sister? What? She's my sister. I've known her my entire life. That's a weird question. You know what else is really weird? I couldn't find my red sweater, and your sister just walked into the school from out of nowhere wearing an identical sweater. <gasps> you aren't accusing her of... I am. Jake, I think your sister stole my sweater. Could Jake's sister Olivia really have stolen Mrs. Lee's sweater? We don't know a lot about Olivia yet, but she doesn't seem to be the kind of person who would steal. She did tell Mrs. Lee that she's heard of the Ten Commandments and the Eighth Commandment, well, it says, you shall not steal. That's Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. But knowing something and actually exercising your faith are different, aren't they? Hmm, I just don't know. We'll have to keep listening to the second part of this mini-adventure to find out. I wonder how Jake will respond to Mrs. Lee's accusation. Will he be loyal to his sister or his new family in Discovery Mountain? Come back right here next week and we'll find out. I'm Miss Jean and you've been listening to a mini-adventure in Discovery Mountain where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.